Hello everyone. Now we will go for our one of the most important topic, or I will say the base of a BAP programming will start from here itself. Our next topic is concept of data types, and then we will come on to data object. Now, what is data type and what is data object? A data type defines the technical attributes of data object. Data type defines the technical attributes of data object. Here in this particular line, two question arises. Firstly, what do you mean by technical attributes? What do you mean by data object? So firstly, what do you mean by technical attributes? Technical attribute means type and the length. Technical characteristics means type and the length. Now the question comes, what is data object? Word itself is saying data object. It means it is a object which will hold the data, which will hold the value, or which will hold the content. So a data object holds the content or values or data. And how we are defining the technical attributes of that data object through data type. We'll go for a simple example so that you can understand fully. So we have the example. Data is a keyword and we gave some name. Suppose I'm saying we gave the name LV underscore EMP ID. Length is 20. Type is a keyword and N stands for numeric. To give a numeric data type, we have the word is N. Through N, we can give a numeric. And I am assigning 10 to this particular LV underscore EMP ID. We will understand this. This LV underscore EMP ID is a data object, is a data object. And we assign the data 10 or we assign the value 10 or we assign the content 10 to this data object. But this data object is of which particular type? It is of which particular type? Numeric type. So how we are defining the technical characteristics or technical attributes of this data object through this data type? See, independently data type has no significance at all. If you are not assigning the data type to the data object, see, after you assign the data type to the data object, then it will only, only accept the number. See, this data object is accepting the number 10. And why it is accepting the numbers only? because of this data type, because of this data type. So we will go for full flash. I'll just read the theory and we will understand the meaning of each and every line. So what is data type? Data type are templates for creating data object. Why we are saying these are template? Suppose we are saying we have a data type can you create so many data objects with that data type? Yes. So they are just like templates. With the help of those templates, you can create any number of data object. If I will compare it to data object parallelly. So data object is an instance of a data type because you are creating so many data objects, so many instances with the help of data type. So data type is a template and data object is a instance. Now, 
Now we will come on to second point, which we already covered. Data type defines the technical attributes of data object. And what is data object? A data object which holds the data or which holds the value or which holds the content. Third point is the most, most important point. The question is, we have data type, we have data object, which will hold the memory, which will occupy the memory. Data type will never, never occupy the memory. See, data type is a template. Whenever you are assigning it to data object, data object is holding the value. It means who will occupy the memory? Data object will occupy the memory. Now the question comes, data object will occupy the memory based upon what? Based upon data type. We all know if we are giving numeric type, different memory will allocate. I'll say different amount of memory allocate. If we are going for character, different amount of memory allocate. If we are going for integer, different amount of memory allocate. So data type is never occupying any memory. Data object is occupying the memory based upon the data type assigned. Now, will come on to last point, data types. We can create in a back program also. We can create in a back dictionary also. At this point of time, just recall because we already covered a back dictionary. If you see in a back dictionary, we have a third radio button data type. And if you remember, with the help of this radio button, we created that data element and structure in our ABAP dictionary. We have not covered table type as such as of now. So you can create data types through ABAP dictionary means SC11 transaction code also, or you can create in ABAP program also. The major, major motto of this video is you just get an overview of data type and data object. Anyways, we will go for writing each and every code in the ABAP editor. Then you will get a full understanding of data type and data object. Now, what we learned in this particular video and what is the summary of the video, data type are templates for data object. Data object are instances, instances of data type. Data type, yes, defines the technical attributes of data object. And data object is what, what which holds the data or value. Data type never, never occupy any memory. Data object occupies the memory based upon the data type defined. Yes. Now, data type you can create through data dictionary also, or you can create through a back programming also. And we took the example. In this example, this is the data object and this is the data type. And this is the value which we assign it to this particular data object and data type independently no significance at all it should be assigned to a data object in the next video we will go for what are the various types of data types and then we will come on to what are the various types of data object so we have two videos in the future one is for the various types of data types and the next video will be what are the various types of data objects. So that's it in this video. Thank you.